this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make a diagonal line of holes in sprung that slant to the right. This video is a follow-up to last week's video where I show you how to make a diagonal line of holes that slant to the left. When used together, you can make a V pattern of holes in your sprung. Once you're familiar with the placement of the holes along this slant, you can use this knowledge to make slanted boundaries between holes and regular interlinking for other patterns. I will be making the holes on shift rows, which I will refer to as pattern rows. Basic rows are worked as normal in between each pattern row and will not affect our whole pattern. On your first pattern row, make your hole as far to the left as you want to begin your diagonal slant of holes by working a 1-2 interlinking followed by a 2-1 interlinking. I made my hole two interlinkings in from the left edge. Follow up with a basic row here and after every pattern row. Your holes will stay open through the basic rows. On the next pattern row, you will open the next hole and close the previous hole. You will do this by performing the 1-2 interlinking when there are three front threads left before the previous hole. There will be one back thread remaining before the hole. When you perform the second interlinking of the hole, a 2-1 interlinking, you will pick up the two back threads located on either side of the hole, effectively closing it. Continue working every pattern row in this manner. As you continue to open your next hole just to the right of the previous hole, your holes will make a diagonal slant across your warp. I hope this helps you to better understand how to create hole patterns in sprung. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.